The mother is down. Her cub has been darted too. Wade can now get on with his job. This is a typical day for him, believe it or not. And so is this. Churchill's other migrants are never far away. Everybody's interested in polar bears. Everybody wants to come up and do a story on polar bears. And, and it, gets, it gets hectic, especially when you're really busy with the bears. You try and accommodate each film crew to the best, the best of your potential at the time that they're here. But it is getting to be uh, a bit of a chore because you're just too busy doing your job. Most film crews are here for a week or two, time enough for only a brief glimpse of what happens here. The real story is far richer and unfolds over a much longer period. <coughs> Before being released, the bears will be given a set of ear tags. We're going to fly them out because we have a family group. We always fly them out. Uh, this is a very good location for the mother and cubs to come. It's a place where you get your first ice, and the bears are very intelligent and know that. So we do get a lot of family groups in this area. And uh, basically we're capturing them, hopscotching them over the community and then releasing them again. And They continue their migration, so they don't have the chance to, uh, to get into trouble or be put in a situation where they may be destroyed. All mothers and cubs are flown out of the area and far enough away so they won't come back again, at least not this year. <laughs> 